the flash loan attack. Sure. Right? Now, the flash loans and tax are really interesting one because a lot of these flash loans are actually using on data ledger in the first place, right? Mm-hmm. Like, so the, 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 let's take Uniswap. I I now go to the example that my my bet for Bitcoin um, price is actually using the wrapped Bitcoin versus USDC pool on Uniswap. And now I'm using the, 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 the Uniswap TWAP framework, time-weighted average price framework, to be able to decide whether or not on this day, at this time, approximate block time, has, is, the, is the price of Bitcoin above or below the bet threshold, right? Now, obviously, with, an, with, a, with a, a flash loan attack, it's possible to do things like momentarily move the price of Bitcoin enough on, the, on, on Uniswap to affect the Oracle price that is being, is being coming into my you know, bet. Um, so how does, how does Supra help that situation, mm-hmm. the the flash loan attack on Ledger Oracle manipulation. Correct. So that is when you use a constant function market maker, or you know the kind of uh, yeah. So x times y equals k model, which um, yep. Yep, we were working with some research firms and academics to show that actually that is technically just an approximation of the value. It's actually not an accurate value representation of the price of Bitcoin at that moment. Sure. So. We're working with other, you know, groups and in, in, in protocols. I mean, that's de facto true. If we, it, that's de facto true. If your previous statement is also true, which is there is an A price of Bitcoin, there's multiple prices of Bitcoin. That's true. So, like, there is, right, <laughs> multiple prices of Bitcoin, correct. Um, but can there be a more accurate market, uh, automatic market maker utilizing Oracle data instead? Are there new types of DeFi primitives that are being cre- can be created that mitigate slippage and um, and uh, mean permanent loss? because we have better accurate pricing uh, through kind of an Oracle network. So these are the kind of questions we're asking and also um, prototyping and working with other DeFi protocols to explore. It does sound like you're going to get better right. pricing, better, less slippage, and least less impermanent loss by leveraging an Oracle actually instead. But of course, if you use an Oracle like this, you have to make sure this Oracle is ultra secure and also fast, like refresh rates on a, a regular cadence that is right. uh, makes sense. So it, it'll be very interesting to see see i mean i actually think amms are a wonderful innovation don't get me wrong i think it's cool right. it's really cool um and they'll continue to exist 100 percent. but i also think that there's some sort of hybrid models or oracle based amms or etc those i think they're going to come out and become very impactful as well um especially as we start to see uh there are some bizarre dynamics sometimes in terms of amms where Actually, it was more profitable to not have engaged in the AMM and provided liquidity. You should have just held the token itself. Um, so it depends on the conditions of the market, bull market, bear market, etc. And um, I'm pretty sure that there will be some very powerful products that can be created by utilizing Oracle data. Um, so that's to be determined. Now, there are... I do want to make this clear that there are a couple of different types of Oracle models that are very important to share and that we also support. So we've been talking about the automatic model, like the algorithmic model, you know, some of the multiple data sources, uh, nodes, multiple nodes, multiple data sources, run consensus, aggregated, et cetera. That is a very fast model um, relatively to the other models. However, the long tail assets, like who won the football game, who was elected in this mm-hmm. some random country in the world, mm-hmm. we, can, uh, mm-hmm. we can enable, um, also we can enable the long tail of random questions that to be asked by leveraging just individuals or organizations. The question is posted, here's the prize, anyone can answer it, and then you introduce a challenge period. This is like the idea of what we call optimistic oracles. Okay, so optimistic mm-hmm. oracles is like okay, we can let anyone answer it, but we'll introduce a challenge period so that if someone wants to challenge it and say, "Hey, I'll double my stake," say you're wrong, and if if no one challenges me me thereafter after the challenge period or after it's been gone to arbitration, um, I can collect your stake or your your bond, etc. This allows us to fill in the gaps of all the non-algorithmic points of uh, information that we might want to need, you know, that maybe cannot be solved through a algorithmic method. Um, and then, of course, there's a single source model where it is like the NASDAQ of the world or other, you know, um, you know, single layer points of information where they are actually the authority of like the equity prices because that's where it comes from. Those types of models, uh, well, 
it's very difficult for us to um, make that algorithmic necessarily. Those nodes can be a full node. They can be listed in smart contracts and they can cryptographically sign the information. Uh, of course, once again, I do want to always cautious that and caution that that is, um, you know, still technically a central point of failure. So use it with care, meaning if that API or private key gets in the wrong hands and they sign the wrong thing and you push this information mm. into smart contracts, they might not they might not know the difference. Um, nonetheless, uh, there are you know the algorithm model, which I mentioned with the multiple nodes. The op optimistic oracle model, which is anyone can come in and answer it and introduce a challenge period. Introducing the challenge period, however, increases latency to hours or days, right? Algorithmic is three to five second finality. Right. Challenge period right. says, hey, look, anyone can challenge me for three to five days, whatever it might be, or three to six hours, whatever it might be. And single source is just, you know, single, single point of failure possible. Yeah, so different models, right. though. Yeah.